Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to have you here with us in London for the Film Festival. Maybe you could begin with a brief introduction to The Lost Boys. What can people expect when they watch it? Oh, they expect, to, I hope that they expect to feel love and uh, feel how, what, what is it to love someone super deeply. And it's a story between two boys and I really wanted to make a, a love story that take out the question of inhibition and uh, shame. And it's, it's mostly a story where the conflict is not there and it's somewhere else what's happened after, after that. And uh, so many stories for me to tell when two people fall in love and yeah, that's it. And tell us a bit about the genesis of the project. What gave you the first spark of the idea and why did you want to make the film? I wanted to make the film because I wanted to talk about uh, love and um, I, I set the movie in a juvenile center for delinquents because um, member of, a member of my family when I was a teenager was placed there and uh, it raised a lot of issues for me about the system and how it worked and how it didn't work for sometimes. And I, you know, I, I was also very inspired about Jean Genet's work. Jean Genet is a, a writer from the 40s, French, uh, who wrote a lot of, about uh, love in prison, and he was also very political. And all those things blended and made the movie. Hmm. And how did you choose your cast, and how did you work with them to achieve your vision? Well, we chose guys who were able to play tenderness and I really wanted to portray a, a sense of masculinity that was a bit alternative. I wanted to, to show uh, guys being able to be uh, in solidarity between each other, uh, you know, being uh, supportive uh, between each other. So when I casted the boys, uh, the whole cast, because there, there are only guys, uh, there is one female important character that is their educator. Um, but then otherwise it's only boys almost. And uh, I really wanted to, uh, you know, have young guys that were already in this mindset of, of alternativity towards their, their own masculinity. Um, and for the two main characters, you know, we, they are very different. One is very intuitive and the other one is very, uh, you know, was in schools, drama schools, very technical. And uh, they both, uh, you know, are very, they, they impressed me a lot during the, the casting. And it was important for me to confront two acting methods. And it was very fun on the set to work differently with them. So it was fun. Are you the kind of director, are you sort of very heavy on like rehearsal time and making sure that they're very kind of like already have a shorthand with each other or you kind of want it to come alive on the day? In between, well, we had a, a, a rehearsal process for a week before and I uh, invited them to, the, to a real centre. We shot in a real centre but I invited them in another one so that they could really spend time with the inmates and try to feel a little bit the atmosphere and that was part of the rehearsal process but then we also had rehearsals uh, you know privately and we went through the whole script together firsthand but then when we arrived there you know we shot in the, almost the same place for 35 days so we were locked up as well so a lot of things uh, happened and uh, new things happened and when we knew since we knew we were shooting in the next day in the same place we're like okay this is a good idea maybe we're gonna do that tomorrow or you know we had we had this luxury to be on a playground like almost a black box and trying a lot of things so a lot of improvised things arrived or, or new things that I could pick up and you know so yeah it was both and were there any moments which were particularly challenging in all of that or on the flip side that you really enjoyed? What was challenging is what we were shooting in a facility that was occupied by people that were really incarcerated. So we had to deal with them all the time and we tried to not be colonizers in this place. So we invited them on the set. Uh, we had workshops with them, with the actors. We tried to really be together and to be as respectful as we can of their reality. And also um, the actors took the humility of being there and being close to them to portray their story in the most uh, efficient way as possible. Yeah. And what do you hope people will take away? Because I guess you're you know, exploring that space of where you don't expect to find love, basically. That is yeah. seen as a very harsh environment, probably quite a hopeless environment, but 
actually you can find connection sort of yeah. despite the odds. Well, it's so on this note is like for me, this prison is also a, bit, a big metaphor of our uh, modern society who of course is very moving forward, more inclusivity, but is also very difficult for young queers. And uh, this prison is also how the society imprisons young queers. And the film proposes a way to uh, fight for, for freedom and love within a homophobic society, basically. But also the film, I want to create empathy towards the kids that are incarcerated in a very brutal system. And uh, it's places where that are invisibilized. So it's trying to open a window for the audience on those, on those places and make their opinion. We're still kind of, you know, when it's an LGBTQ plus film, you know, sometimes people have stereotypes in their minds, but gradually, gradually, it feels like the more we have that kind of representation, more of those stories being told, there's also more nuance and different settings and different stories that can be told. Have you seen that in the, you know, over the last few years I it evolved? Did. I've seen a lot of advance in the queer representation. I just think that we should be um, f uh, mindful of um, pink washing some some sometimes because queer is still a political issue and I think the the, the more representation we have is the, is very good for everyone but um, I want those representations to still be political as much as possible that's it and what does it mean to you to have your film here at London Film Festival I know you've already been in Berlin and so on and yeah, so forth yeah it means a lot to have this queer film that I wrote in my bedroom alone uh, and then after that with a wonderful co-writer that I invited on the project and that we finished the film together I, it, it really means a lot to be in those broad film festival and not uh, only in those LGBT film festivals because we need to uh, have the audience access these kind of stories and it only can happen if the big festivals uh, book them. So I'm very happy. Do you already know what you might work on next or are you going to let this one sink in before you go into your next project? I'm working on a writing process right now, but it's it's very difficult to talk about that right now, but it's 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 there, it's some, somewhere. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing all that with me and really enjoy presenting the film here at London Film Festival. Thanks a lot. Thank you.